Hi, we're back in our classroom this time, and I want to show you a few demos having to do with angular momentum and the conservation of angular momentum. So these are pretty important principles in physics, particularly physics one. Uh, so I'm going to first show you this. This is called the conservation of angular momentum, and it relates, it's often called the ice skater uh, principle. So I'm going to spin myself, then I'm going to, uh, I have these weights here, they're kind of heavy, each one is about two kilograms. So then I'm going to take that, those weights, I'm going to first start out uh, with the weights out, then I'm going to pull the weights in, what should happen? Well, uh, according to torque and moment of inertia, if I bring the weights in, I'm reducing my moment of inertia, and if the angular momentum is conserved, and if there's no net torques on the system, the speed that with which I rotate, the angular speed should increase. So we get this here, we go like this. This one always makes my head spin, but I'll do anything for physics, huh? So like this is the reason it's called the ice skater is that the ice skater when he, she pulls her arms in. Uh, she starts spinning faster. So this relates to a lot of other principles in physics, such as, for example, star uh, rotation. When a star is smaller, it begins to rotate faster. So particularly when a star dies, the core of the star collapses and it turns into a neutron star. And the smaller the neutron star, the faster it should spin. And other kinds of other principles uh, that relates with this. So there's a lot of that stuff. The other one I want to show you is I have this uh, wheel, okay? So when I spin the wheel, it will also have its own angular momentum. So we'll get to practice the right hand rule with this. So when I spin it, okay, for example, let's say I spin it this way, right? Its angular momentum is going to be up, right? So if I start with an initial angular momentum of zero and its angular momentum is up, I should have an angular momentum that's down. So I should spin this way, okay? So, see, I spun the other way. And eventually friction slowed me down to zero. So let's try that again. I'm gonna spin it this way. Its angular momentum is up, so I should spin this way uh, clockwise, so my angular momentum will be down, see? I rotate the other way. Now if I turn it, right, I go the other way. If I turn it, I go the other way. So the total angular, uh, the angular momentum of the system is conserved, except for friction, which usually slows me down eventually. The other interesting thing about this as well is how about if I were to spin it this way? Let's say I were to spin it like this. Did anything happen to me? No, because the angular momentum that the wheel has is perpendicular to me, right? So there's no way that I could compensate for the angular momentum it has. I, I couldn't rotate this way. So if I spin it in such a way that its angular momentum is perpendicular to my axis, then nothing happens to me. The other thing I want to show, with a couple stuff with the wheel, we all know that when you ride a bike, the faster you go, the less likely you are to tip over, right? So that could be illustrated by holding this and trying to move it, I already feel a resistance, right? And basically what's happening is that the bike is trying to, the wheel is trying to uh, conserve its angular momentum. That could be best illustrated with the use of a string like this. So I'm going to wrap this around here, over here in the axle. Let's try it on this side here. And I'm going to wrap this string here. This also really helps to illustrate the conservation of angular momentum. If I hold it by the string, you're going to see that it has no angular momentum, so no stability. It's just going to fall. But if I keep it, 
If I keep it, let me tighten it a little more. But if I keep it here spinning, let's just do a little better job here. You see, it doesn't tip over. And not only that, it precesses. So it shows the concept of precession. The Earth's axis also precesses as it turns around the sun, it precesses once every 26,000 years. So this also shows that precession. But the other thing it shows is the stability that you gain as you spin something. You see? So the angular momentum that it has cons gets conserved and it is less likely to tip over. So there's a lot of good uses of this principle of conservation of angular momentum. So with that, we end. Thank you.